Hello guys, welcome back to the Ninja 2 World. Today I'm going to be doing the Pokemon Go thing again. So this is part 2. Um, so this is what we did last time. We throw the ball. It hits him. Last time he did not have a Bridget body, so I'm going to go ahead and remove that. That's what we did last time. So we're going to um, make the Pokeball work today so we can actually catch him. Um, so that should be pretty simple. So let's go ahead and get right into it. So let's go ahead and create a new script called Pokeball Manager. Go ahead and open that up. Okay, so here it is. So first of all, delete all this stuff inside here. We don't need any of that. Only thing we need is a trigger uh, function. So a Void on trigger enter. And in the parameters, we need to put the collider in. So collider, and we'll just say other. So that's our collider. So whatever object we hit, we're going to call other. So if we want to get the game object, we say other.game object. All right. So now we want to get the tag. So if the tag equals Pokemon, so if we hit a Pokemon. Then we're going to start a core team. We're going to make this core team in a second. We're going to call it catch Pokemon. And then we're going to pass in our uh, game object. So the collider game object. So that's what we're going to pass in because that's what we're going to make in a second here. So now let's go to make this uh, core team. So I enumerator catch Pokemon. That's the function name. And game object Pokemon. So as you can see here, we're passing a game object in, and that's the game object of the Pokemon. Okay. Next, we're going to do a bunch of stuff, but first of all, we need to set this up. So this is not going to work right now. It's going to pull an error because we're not returning anything. We're going to return. We're just going to do that for now, just to make it happy. Oh, well, actually. We're, we'll, we will return a null. That's what we will do. Right there. And that should work for now. It's not going to do anything yet. But we need to set the uh, the Pokemon up and all that. So go ahead and add a tag. Pokemon. There we go. Add that to our Pidgeot. Add a box collider to him. Copy the settings of this one. Paste it in this one. So this one to be trigger and make it just a little bit larger than the other one. There we go. Once that's done, add a rigid body. And also add a spear collider to our ball. Another one. Spear collider. Set it to trigger and set the radius to be a little bit larger. There we go. That should work for now. And if we save this, we can go back into our um, our script here, and we're just gonna uh, log something. So we're gonna see debug.log testing out before making function. I don't know. <laughs> That'll work. Throw it. And nothing happens, which is not good. So let's go ahead and figure this out. Let's go to the Pidgeot here. He has the Pokemon tag. He has a rigid body. He has an is trigger on him, but I think it is the wrong one. So that's probably why. Let's start one more time. Go to the console. Nothing's there. That is okay. So let's go ahead and move him up to where we don't have any collider issues. And then we can sort this out. The reason is there is no script on the Pokeball. So let's go ahead and add the script. That was silly. Let's go ahead and do that. And testing out before coding. That's what we want. So let's go ahead and delete both of the things in the core team for now. And now we can do a couple of things. So what's the first thing that happens to a Pokeball when you hit something, or when you hit the Pokemon? 
it flies up in the air. So we're going to say transform.translate. We're going to change this later uh, because it looks a little weird, but for now it'll work. So we're going to say vector3.lerp times one comma space world dot world. There we go. That's going to push it up in the air just a little bit. Not vector3.lerp, by the way. vector 3 up. After that, all you need to do is put in a couple of things for the velocity and all that. Uh, and then we can get into like the shaking and all that and catching them. So we need to set the rigid body's uh, gravity and the velocity to be zero. So no gravity and no velocity. So we're going to say this dot get component rigid body dot use gravity equals false. Same thing, basically copy it and paste it. But then we're going to say dot velocity equals vector three dot zero. So no velocity at all. There we go. Next, we need to destroy the Pokemon game object. So destroy Pokemon dot game object. After that, we're going to wait one second. So it stays up in the air for one second. There we go. And then it drops back down, so we're going to set the uh, gravity back to be true. So we're going to set it back to true. There we go. Equals true. Make sure you put the, put the little thingy at the end. Okay, after that, you're going to wait another second. So it drops to the floor. You wait one more second. And then you, uh, you get the camera, so the camera zooms in on it. So we're going to see game object dot find game object with tag or find yep yeah, find game object with tag player that's what our camera's tag will be in a second dot transform dot look at and we're gonna look at this dot game object or this dot transform copy the first part of that paste it and then we're gonna get a component so get the component of the camera game object the component camera dot field of view and we're going to set the field of view to be let's just do 8 point hmm, 8 point 2 f that will work f stands for float you have to put that there at the end and we'll just go ahead and test that out throw it wait a second then we can't find the camera because the camera is tagged as being camera and not player, so let's go ahead and play it again when we uh, when we have that. We throw the ball, capture it, falls to the floor, it zooms in, nothing happens. This is where the shaking comes in, so when the ball shakes. Right now we're not going to put in the, uh, the escaping and all that. We will later, so let's do shape 2, shape 3, finish shake. Okay. So now what we're going to do is in these, uh, in these little things here, you don't have to put them there, this is just for, uh, for the future to where we can see where we're doing it. We're going to wait one second. Then we're going to shake, so transform, dot rotate, dot rotate. And we're just going to rotate vector three dot right times five. Wait half of a second or even less. Let's just do point one. So we're going to wait point one seconds, and then we're going to shake again. But we're going to shake the opposite direction, so we're going to say negative right. So basically, the opposite from right. Copy this, paste it into all three of the things here and that's done other than the finish shake needs to be 10 instead of 5 so we're going to rotate it by 10 instead of 5 and then we're going to debug.log finished let's test this out we play it we throw the ball drops to the floor it zooms in one shake two shake Three shake, finish shake. And there's no stars or anything like that that come out. But um, that's okay for now. We'll change it later. 
and we're also going to put a game object in. So we're gonna actually, hmm, we're gonna grab a game object. But we're not gonna do it right now. So that's the uh, the Pokeball throwing. And that should be good for now. Another thing we're going to do is put a boolean in here. So public bool has caught and if we have caught it then we're going to send it to the main game object and all that stuff will come later. But for now that works. Let's go ahead and test this out, and everything should be fine, and everything should work for now. And hopefully everything worked. It didn't say finish, but hopefully if we go back to the Pokeball, it has caught. So, everything works, and Everything's done for now for this scene, other than maybe the scenery and maybe a few other Pokemon you know, like these guys. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. We're going to be doing the uh, the scenery, and then we're also going to be doing the main scene itself. Also, we're going to be doing AR, which should be fun. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial.